Hey everyone, welcome back. So we had just finished building the uh, Harry's About Us page. And as you can see, it's, it looks great on desktop, but you need to be able to optimize every page for mobile, just in case anybody's viewing your page on a cell phone or a tablet. So a built-in feature for PageFly is if you go at the top here, this drop-down menu, we can actually preview it in, on different devices. Okay, so we're gonna go mobile because we'll see the most difference. And as you can see, some things have changed, right? Now, as I said, we used percentages in our padding and things um, for the desktop, which, which makes it easier to uh, change in mobile, but it doesn't always make everything perfect, okay? So in mobile, instead of using percentages, we're actually going to do padding and everything with actual pixel numbers, okay? So the first thing you should notice is definitely this first heading is way too big now. So we can just select it here. And as we change any other font size, we're just gonna change that, okay? So 24 looks a lot better for that, okay? As you can see, this big image here, it's definitely not gonna fit because it's just massive, right? It spanned the entire desktop view before, the entire browser. So what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, hang on a second. I'm going to put this image into this column. So it's actually on top of the text. So we'll go back to our original view. I can just copy this URL from the background image. I'm going to go to mobile, select our column. Then I'm going to go to the background image and I'm going to put the image in the column. So you can't see it now, but it is in there. Okay. Now I'm just going to make the background of this section a solid color. Okay. Same as the background of this image. Okay. So I've got the, the section selected and I've got the color copied using Colorzilla. Oh, hang on a second. What's going on here? Let's see, did I do something crazy? So hold on, I'm gonna copy this again. Copy the image source. Put that in there. Okay, as you can see, even if we position it try to change it, it's going to look really ugly. So we're going to delete that. There we go. So I just had to put the image source first and then remove it. Then I'm going to put that background gray, not white. I want the gray color. What's going on here? Okay. There we are. Now we'll adjust the box style for this. So as I said, we're not gonna use percentages. If I use the 10%, which would have made a difference on the desktop, that's like nothing on here. So we're gonna try maybe 100, no, 200. Let's try 200 and 100. Looks about the right size, but I don't know why our, we're gonna center, center it and we're gonna contain it. Okay, no, not contain, we wanna cover. So there we are. Sorry about the mix up there. So what I did was I copied the image source from the original. Um, I put it into this column instead of the background of the section. Okay, I made the background the same color as this. Okay, and now it just lays on top. So when you're scrolling down on mobile, you can see the image and you can see the text, but you don't see some half of an image covering behind the text here or anything like that. And the next thing is you can see our padding's off on the text on here. So I'm just going to select this column. We're going to do a similar thing. Okay. Let's try a hundred. That's too much. 50. Cool. That looks good. Okay. Just give us a little bit of space there. A little bit nicer layout. Same thing here. Same thing here. 
yeah, 50, that's fine. We could even probably add a little bit of padding at the bottom here, but I think it looks okay. And then finally, our text size. There we go. We could probably change the size of that button. Actually, no, I like the button. Easy to click on on mobile. Okay. So now we have smaller heading. We have the image on top, the text. We have enough spacing here. Could probably reduce the padding on the bottom here a little bit. Yeah, if I do 50, maybe even less than that. I want to make it about equal to the, the part below. There we go. So it's all about just where needed, adjusting these uh, the padding and spacing, top for sure. Let's do that too. We want 30. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and it's a lot smoother, easier to look at on a mobile device. Okay, and you want to get in the habit of doing this in every video, which we will do. We'll look at each page and, and optimize it for mobile. Uh, so the other videos after this one will probably be a little bit quicker. But I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a shot and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.